I, I would say so. And my experience is really how IT has evolved in terms of cloud adoption. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see a lot more of that attack surface now. Some of it um, may be through uh, lack of configuration or an understanding of types of decisions, but but other things purely for new you know modes of working, the perimeter is gone, and you know we spent a lot of time building walls around this sort of stuff. And actually now, um, for for freedom of movement and you know being able to work with people in different countries and you know be more agile, um, a lot of those barriers, a lot of those perimeters have have been removed, and so mm -hmm. that creates an interesting set of challenges um so commonly a, a lack of kind of understanding as to where that data is now um i mean i i i find a lot that particularly talking about network attacks people say oh you know we want you to go and get this this flag or, or this particular file off a server and so um, i've had issues where i've had instances where this file is buried in like a 10 terabyte share and it's mm -hmm. taken forever to sort of iterate through to find this file. Yeah. But hey, I got the flag, you know, like uh -huh, I've proven uh -huh. that. But actually, like these little data pockets and data silos, um, it's the hidden spots that people don't realize. I mean, you, how much data is sitting in your local Outlook instance in terms of a place that an attacker has access to. Mm -hmm. um, there's a wealth of information that we, you know, we think is centralized, but actually it's kind of tacked onto us and follows us wherever we go. And so yeah. those are the interesting things, I, I, I think, mm. um, you know, yeah. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.